Okay, so to reset or set up a new date for your for your oil reminder, we need to go over over here to the back seat. Now let's go ahead and get our key and remove our back seat. Let's go ahead to get that in there. Go ahead and remove the back seat. Okay, next, this is gonna be the really easy part right here. You're gonna notice that there's gonna be this little plug right here. Now this is your service plug. Gonna go ahead, push this down, and then pop it right out. There we go. Okay. Now that you have it out like this, let me show you from the other, or I can show you from here. Yep, from here I can show you. All right, so next what you, you need to do is, you could get anything to make this. All I did was just get some spare wire that I had laying around. And what I did is I spliced both ends and then twisted the both ends. After you twist it, it's gonna kind of bend it like this to kind of make like a little U shape. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna bridge a connection over here on this plug. So when you look at the plug over here, you're gonna see a contact point here, one here, and then these two right there. Let me go ahead and zoom in a little bit so you guys can see a little bit better. All right, so what we need to do is we need to bridge this contact and this contact together. And that's where this little cable comes in, or this little handy uh, thing that we just made comes in handy. So you're just going to go ahead and stick the cable or on one terminal right there. And then you're just going to go ahead and pop the other part of the cable in that other part of the terminal. So pretty much looks like that. And that's all you need to do for this part. Now that we got this part already bridged, now we're gonna go over to the bike. What I really meant to say was over to the front part of the bike. Let's grab our key. We're gonna put it into the ignition. Make sure this part over here on, on the right side is on the off position. Gonna turn the key. And we're gonna go ahead and select service. Right now it's just showing service. Okay, once you get to that main part of the menu, uh, we're gonna go ahead and press up on the, the menu selector switch over here where it says mode. So go on, on the top part and just hold up for a few seconds. All right, now it gets us to the display part. We're gonna go ahead and select up for service. So again, press up over here. And now it's uh, service is highlighted. So let me go ahead and zoom in there. So you can see that service is highlighted. All right, so next what we're gonna need to do is we're gonna go ahead and press the down button. And we're gonna hold the down button for a few seconds. All right, now that we have it down, we already hold it. Now you can see that the menu, it says reset. And to reset it, we have to hold down the down button for a few seconds. So let me show you that. Let me go ahead and go back a little bit. So you guys can see that I'm doing it. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and hold down the down button for a few seconds. So just go ahead and press it down. All right, so now the next option that came up over there, it's asking if we wanna reset yes or no. You wanna select yes. So I'm gonna go ahead and, so, and push the down button, push it down and hold it. All right, so now that brings us to this part of the menu. Now you're able to select the date and time is already a uh, program in the gauge cluster. So right now it's asking me if I want to confirm this date. You could obviously change that if you wanted to show a different date or a different mileage. I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. For me, I'm gonna still keep the, the same month, but for the date, I'm gonna change it to zero one. Okay, so to do that, so I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna keep the, the month of the date the same. So I'm just gonna go ahead and press down one time and that's gonna move it over to the, the date. So if you wanna change, what Whatever number you want to change, you have to hold down the button. So you're going to hold down the, the down button to change the date. But if you're satisfied with whatever the date it shows, then just go ahead and press down one time to skip over to the next thing. So for me, I want to change the date. So I'm going to go ahead and hold down for a few seconds. As you can see right now, now it's it's blinking and it's highlighted. That's asking me if I want to press up or down to change the date. Uh, for me, for myself, I'm going to change it to the first. So that that's blinking. So let me go ahead and zoom out again. So this is up and this is down obviously so i'm going to go back down to the the beginning of the month so just press it one time every time you press one the button down one time it's going to move one digit let's see for me now it's showing the first once you're satisfied with the date that you selected then go ahead and press down and hold it down for a few seconds all right now it is set as you can see right there now it's set for the first and that's what i wanted it to change all right so next i'm going to press uh, the down button one time and it's going to take you down to the mileage i want to change it on the next interval 4,000 miles. So I'm going to go ahead and change that to 4,000 miles. So again, to change it, to change anything really, you just got to hold down the, the down button for a few seconds. So I'm going to go ahead and hold the down button for a few seconds. And now you could see that blinking so we could change it. So there's no need for me to show you the, the up and down buttons. You already know what I'm, I'm already doing. So right now I'm going to go ahead and push down. And every time you push down, it's going to go down in intervals of, I believe, 500. Okay, got 4,500, 4,000. Okay, so I definitely want it at the 4, 
4,000 mark. Once you're satisfied with the mileage, and again, you could set it to whatever you want. If you want a reminder in the, in the next 1,000 or 2,000 or whatever amount of miles you want it to remind you at, you could go ahead and set it. For me, as soon as I hit the 4,000 mile mark, that's where I want it to remind me. So once that's set, you go ahead and hold down the, the down button for a few seconds. All right, now it's set. So that is everything you need to do. Okay, so next I'm gonna go ahead and push the down button one more time. And then now it's telling, asking you to confirm if everything that you set is the way you want it. And for me, it is. So next I'm gonna do is hold down the, the down button a few seconds to confirm that everything I in entered into the gauge cluster is the way I want it. And that's the reminder that I want to set for myself. So just go ahead and push down the down button and hold it for a few seconds. Okay, everything's set. Now you can see my reminder is gonna be set for September 1st, 2023. And it, I guess it minus one mile, I guess. I don't know why I did that. As soon as I hit the 4,000 mile mark, an early indicator that my oil change is coming up. But as soon as I hit the 4,000 mile mark, it's gonna be time for an oil change. So that's pretty much it for that. Go ahead and to uh, get out of that, all you need to do over here, it says exit, and you wanna push the up button for a few seconds. So let me go ahead and move it there. And then we're just gonna go ahead and press the up button for a few seconds to get out of the service menu. Okay, so now that's pretty much on how you set or change and reset your oil indicator light. Hopefully you guys found that helpful. So now let's go ahead and turn off the key. Just go ahead and turn that off. And we need to remove our little jumper cable that we did over here on this side. So I'm just kind of moving it on over to this side. Fairly simple, obviously. There's nothing that much really need to explain. Just grab your, your thing and then just go ahead and undo it. You can go ahead and you could pretty much save this, you know, off to the side. It's gonna come in handy later on once we need to do another uh, reset of the service light. All right, so once you get that un unplugged from there, there. Just grab your plug and then plug it back into its little its little compartment here. Go ahead and then just push it into here the, the clip. Now it's already clicked in. Now you can go ahead and then install your seat back on. And that's pretty much it for that area. It's supposed to go in easier. All right, little difficulties there, guys. There we go. Now it's on there. Now let's go over to the front gauge cluster and just kind of make sure that everything is set over there. So now we're over here by the bike. Let's go ahead and just make sure that everything is all set over there. Go ahead and turn on our key. And then next, so let's just go ahead and uh, press up for a few seconds. Then press up one more time to go into service. Then you're gonna press down and hold that for a few seconds. And there it is. As you can see, it says service there. There we go. And as you can see for me, it's showing September 1st, 2023 at almost 4,000 miles. I'll up it to the 7,500 miles, which would be for the following year after that. And so on and so forth. That's how you guys want to, you know, change the mileage as well. Now that we already got everything confirmed there, now we're just going to go ahead and exit that. Press up and hold that for down for a few seconds. Press up again to exit out the whole menu. And there we are back to the main menu again. I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the key there. All right guys, so that pretty much concludes this service on how to reset oil light. If you guys found this video helpful, please smash that like button. If you haven't yet subscribed, don't forget to subscribe. Hit that notification bell. That way you guys are up to date with my latest videos. Please share this video. If you guys have any questions, leave them down in the comments below. Alrighty, so that's pretty much it. All right guys, I'll catch you on the next service or installation. You guys take care and see you on the next one.